Hey y'all, I'm Kristen at Hammock Haven Farm. And a couple of days ago, we released a video using store-bought milk to make cheese, and it was a complete and utter failure. And I'm just not happy to leave you with a failure. So I picked up a couple more gallons of milk. Let's see how these work. This time I've got fresh market whole milk. I just bought a half gallon of that. It's not ultra pasteurized, it says. It just says regular pasteurized. I got a gallon of Publix whole milk and a gallon of the Publix organic green wise milk that just says pasteurized, not ultra pasteurized. Now this is the first just pasteurized organic milk I've been able to find. Only other things that we're gonna do different on this one than the other video. Um, first of all, we, it did set, so I don't think it was my rennet at all. It just, the curd didn't hold together. But just to rule that out, I've got some brand new rennet we're going to use just to rule everything out. And a couple of people asked me about the calcium chloride, which again, I think that this curd in that last video, it was just too far gone for calcium chloride to really make a difference. Um, but I'm gonna put a half a teaspoon of calcium chloride per gallon in there just to see if it helps it hold up at all. Okay, this one here is the regular Publix milk and it's not pulling away from the edges yet, although it is fairly set. When I give it a, um, a cut, it's, it's breaking up more than I want still. So I'm gonna go back and cut this one last, let it sit for just another minute. Um, hopefully we can get it to set up and start pulling away from the edges. So coming over here, this is what I was talking about with it pulling away from the edges. Now this is the Publix Green Wise milk, and just like with the organic milk that we saw uh, in the other video, this is a more yellow color. Um, it's pulling away from the edge as well, but you see right where I put my fingers in, already it's doing that curdly thing. You see this? Just like in that other video, these curds aren't sticking together well. But since it is pulled from the edges, I'm gonna try to cut it these are all been very soft curds, so I'm using just a big, like two inch cut on them. And we'll let that one sit before we stir it. Don't hold out a whole lot of help, I'm, or hope on this one. If you can really just see where this is falling apart already. Uh, this one here is our fresh market milk. And it's still also not really pulling away from the edges as much as I'd like to see. Let's check our break on here. It's not bad, but I think it could use another five or 10 minutes. So let's give it a little more time. We'll come back and check it. Back to our Publix, just regular whole milk. Give that a cut now. I'm still not really pulling away from the edges, but it's set more. And then let's come back over here. And this is our fresh market. And we'll let those set up a second. And this has been sitting for a few minutes, so let's give this a stir and see what we end up with. And if you see, we're kind of getting the same thing that we got with the pasteurized, ultra pasteurized milk last time, even though this one said it's not ultra pasteurized. You see how nice and yellow the whey is, and even the curd is nice and yellow. I mean, I'm sure it's, you know, good grass-fed cows, but um, yeah, it's just breaking into a complete mess here and not stirring at all. So I'll leave that sit a minute and see if it'll set up, but I'm not holding out much hope. Back to this Publix milk. Let's give this a stir and see what we have. I'm just gonna break these up a little bit. And these so far look the most promising. I mean, it's keeping the shape of a, a curd. So I'm gonna be very, very gentle with them. And uh, we'll start warming that up. Coming back over here to the fresh market milk, which is this one. Let's give it a little stir. And it's holding up okay too so far. So let's give
give this stir and we'll start heating it up and see if we can't get these curds to make something. And then back over here, again, the organic milk. Um, you know, it's got some curdly bits. I'm not holding out a whole lot of hope for this one. You can see the difference between difference between this uh, this pot and the other. Although some of it hasn't completely disintegrated yet. So we'll heat it up too and see what we come up with. Okay, I heated this up and followed the directions to get it to um, make mozzarella. This is the organic, uh, green-wise. And it's not as bad as the other organic milk uh, that we saw, or, yeah, that we saw in the other video. Um, but still, it's not, it's not completely turning to mush, but it's not holding its bonds very well. So, um, I would say, yeah, this isn't gonna make a good cheese. This one here is your, is the Publix, um, just regular milk, and it actually did make curds. Look at this. They're, honest to goodness, curds in here. Yay. So, uh, I think you can make this one work. You can be very gentle with these. They don't really want to hold together as well as some other curds, but, um, you know, like with my goat milk and stuff, but, um, yeah, this would work. And finally, we've got the fresh market milk over here. And again, I think this one might've given a little more yield than the other. Look at this, we have curds. And these curds, I mean, they actually seem a little firmer than the Publix milk. So uh, I'm just glad to have found something that's gonna give some level of, of success and an option for people to play with when they're getting started in cheese making. One thing that I kind of wonder as I'm looking at these and with the state of farming anymore that so much is so mass produced, I wonder how many of these milks were actually produced uh, on the same farms or pasteurized in the same facilities and just repackaged with a different label on it for the different stores. Um, I guess we really have no way of knowing, but I, I do suspect that that's going on. So I'm going to toss, uh, toss this one out to the dog. I'm going to drain these others and see if I can't finish up a mozzarella with it. So. Our final results here is the Publix whole milk, not the green wise, the Publix regular whole milk worked, and uh, the Fresh Market whole milk worked. So thank you for watching. Please take the time to subscribe. Just wanna show you what we came up with here. And I don't know if it was the calcium chloride that made it not wanna stretch. This is the Publix milk after it's been sitting and it should have formed a curd mass and stuck together and the curds, they're just very weak. I mean, they just, they don't, they're still, see, very, very weak and don't hold a, a nice firm curd. So uh, you might be able to make something with this and it would just take some experimentation. Um, it's different. And then this is the um, fresh market milk and it held, had a better curd and it actually made a mass um, it did not stretch. I don't know if that was due to the uh, calcium chloride or it just didn't taste quite acid enough. So I don't know if it was a, a matter of that. Maybe if I'd used some cultures and actually let it sit to, to culture and get more acid. I, I don't know. I mean, I used to do it with mozzarella with um, store-bought milk and not have a problem, but I haven't practiced in a long time. Anyway, we actually did get curd here. I think the fresh market's a little better than the Publix. Good luck.